Going up, and we did a, a Halloween show 
And I thought it would be a really good idea to do like the dunking for apples thing, except with fake blood. And it was a good idea, but it just didn't work. And uh, so I mixed up this giant vat of fake blood back there in the brewery room where they don't let you do that because of sanitary reasons, but I did anyway. And there was tons of like corn syrup and food coloring and all sorts of garbage in there. We put it on the stage. Yeah. We put it on the stage. Thought we could milk that gag, you know, for a couple couple bits or whatever. But then somebody came up and uh, uh, I had three people competing at the same time. And one guy was probably pretty plastered. And he he bent down into that tub and he stuck his whole big moppy head of hair down there. Got it all soaking wet and just went all over everybody. So there was fake blood flying around on stage. He didn't just do it once. He did it multiple times throughout a really long jammy song. So there was just a giant puddle of fake blood and a big river of blood. Is that man here tonight? Is that man here tonight? Is he even still alive? No, I figured he'd be dead by now. Step forward if that was you. <laughs> or maybe you wish that was you. Yeah, so he won. He won. <laughs> what did he win? I don't know, a CD or something. Oh, speaking of CDs, self-satisfaction. We have uh, CDs over here at the table. We have buttons for sale. If you're too chicken to actually win them, you can pay for them. Like a peasant. And, uh, I'm kidding, I... If you buy a CD, you can take us home and not have to feed us. Right, exactly. If you don't buy anything, we're staying at your house. Yeah, there are no carnies there. We have t-shirts, a lot of ladies' t-shirts over there. CDs, three different CDs, two full lengths, and one EP. See us in between sets or after the show, or just grab something and leave a big, fat, sweaty lot of money. That'll work. I think... We're gonna we're gonna interrupt my own set list because I kind of want to hear a harmonica solo. Oh, you do. I do. Everybody, Wally Jarvis is not just a master percussionist and a snap snappy, well dressed man. He's also our father. <laughs> right. Rumors are true. He fathered all of us just yeah. separately <laughs> over the years with different mothers, different same, decades. Same father, different mothers. Yeah. Pure coincidence, we all found each other and started a band, and that's the story of Black Jake and the Carnies. You might be able to see the resemblance a little bit, right? If you really drink a couple more beers and squint your eyes, anything's possible. For a memory that'll last a lunch time. Paper outlaw, everybody. This one leads in a paper outlaw. I knew that. I just wanted to make sure you guys were paying attention. Give us a nice, good, long, juicy one. <laughs> Not a coral snake one. A big coral juicy one. I'm known for that. <laughs> See us at the merch table later for the coral snake story. You might be disappointed. Are you done yet? Oh, no. Go ahead. Oh, one for you, Father Wally.
we've done in a circle. See you now, Trey. Except for the city locker one, I'm using your name, Cindy, but it's precious to me. 
Oh, you got a button? It shows. Do you want one of those buttons? Fine, you're good. Everybody, you did a fantastic job, except for the first few people who didn't win anything or do anything. Everybody who won did a fantastic job. Yeah, those other people are terrible. And we commend you. Okay, this one, I changed my mind. This one. It's called Dooley. You guys, uh, you, want, you like the traditional stuff? You call the rock, rock and top stuff? This one is called Dooley. The Dillards did it on the Andy Griffith show. We, true story. We the were, Dillards. We were touring, we were touring in, in Germany and we were staying at a dude's house named Heinrich. He's got a band called Heinrich 13 and the Devil Grass Pickers. He was going to come to America to a festival we were both playing. We were both going to do Dooley together. So we all decided we would learn Dooley. And when the time came, Heinrich, 13, and the Devil Grass Pickers flew into Detroit Metro from Germany. And immigration stopped them and said, what are you guys going to do in America? And they said, we're going to play this music festival. And he said, are you going to get paid for that? And they said, yeah. And he said, you guys got work visas? And they said, nine. They didn't have work visas. So they turned, they turned Heinrich, 13, and, and the Devil Grass Pickers away and banned them from America forever. I tell you, ever since 9-11. I know. Doing on it's been tough. <laughs> the Germans have a history of being treacherous <laughs> with the United States of America, so we don't let them in, typically. So this one goes out to Heinrich 13 and the Devil Grass Pickers, who we may never see again. And this one's called Dooley. And uh, the chorus goes like this. Dooley, some of the holler, Dooley, twenty hundred dollars, Dooley, give me a swallow and I'll pay you back someday. So now you know it. And if you can't remember all those words, just go. Dooley, 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 from your business, Dooley, Dooley.
popular, and all of a sudden it became popular, and it was just great, man. It went to my head. And, uh, and they both left me for my two friends. And for many years, I blamed them for it, and that kind of hurt me. I kind of had that coming a little bit, maybe. Possibly. For dating them both at the same time. So anyway, this is about how I put them both into one person for the sake of writing a song and kill them. He wrote this song about his failed relationship, so that you don't have to. Yeah. Without much further ado, my angel Marie. You want to do the accordion on this one, Charles Bells? Yes, sir. I suppose. This one is in G for everybody humming along. Oh, good, I forgot. You may ask me why I choose to wonder. If I had 
So this one's about being an entertainer. <laughs> it doesn't really. Just be positive, Zettel Meyer. All right, you can do it. <laughs> this one is called All the Difference. One, two, me and Kyle.
Uh, so I know this is a brewery. We don't have a whole lot of cigarettes and whiskey around here. But well, we hear the laws might be changing soon, so. <laughs> or maybe I just dreamed that after drinking and smoking too much. <laughs> But regardless, I think uh, I think we ought to represent Seagreets and Whiskey a little bit here tonight. This is an old temperance movement song. You probably heard it. Because <laughs> you were alive in the 30s. And, uh, uh, right. Peter Sellers did this on the Muppet Show. And it's called Seagreets and Whiskey and Wild Wild Wh Whiskey, I'm sorry, and Wild Wild Women. Please, go ahead. So you know it's fun for the whole family, right? Right, fun for the whole family. You don't care your kids. And we're going to have you sing it along with us. Right? It's really easy. I'll teach it to you. Cigarettes and whiskey and wild, wild women. They'll drive you crazy. They'll drive you insane. Cigarettes and whiskey and wild, wild women. They'll drive you crazy. They'll drive
Yeah, we need another volunteer. Come on now. Come on now. Yes, you miss. Why don't you tell everybody your name? I'm sorry. Wait, I know you. You've played this game before, haven't you? Really? She looks familiar. Anyway, okay. Amanda North, everybody give Amanda North a big round of applause. Uh, I swear she's... Anyway, all right. There's the base. The base is behind me in the floor. It's that little round thing in the floor. Yep, there you go. That's your That's your limit. Let's get a chant going. Amanda! 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 Oh, yeah. Guess what? Amanda needs a few more balls! And a big round of Amanda! Amanda! I got a plan. During this next song, if the entire audience all together, hold on there, Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea. Don't give away the farm here, Chelsea. I got a plan. All right. The plan is if the entire audience gets 15 balls into Bobby Yaga's mouth during our next song, Amanda gets uh, EP. Good EP. You like it? So don't start throwing yet. That means you. Wait until I start singing. Okay? This song is about the apocalypse and how awesome it's going to be. <laughs> okay? It's called Smoke and Mirrors. Am I missing any carnies? I am. <laughs> they just run off. Like hurting cats with these guys. Uh, Tom will be right back. Yeah, no. Something about his paisley. Hey, you're here. <laughs> Everybody, this is Danielle Geiger. She's a good friend of mine. I think you know. Can I pronounce your last? Is it Geiger or Geiger? Like Geiger the alien? Okay. Geiger. That's what I thought. All right. She's gonna help uh, get me into Wheatland, right? No. It's not, it's not working? Fingers crossed. Alright, everybody tell the uh, board at, at Wheatland that you want to see Black Jake and Carnage, okay? Alright, get out your devices and say, Wheatland, you're Happy great! You Happy really Wheatland. changed my life! Have Black Jake and Carnage play. Happy Wheatland! <laughs> Happy Wheatland! Alright, we Happy played Wheatland twice and I, they don't want us back because we accidentally broke their stage. It was an accident. Really? We didn't plan it. We had 20 people up on stage bouncing up and down at the same time, and they didn't stage, couldn't take it. Uh -huh. I already know about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're there? Oh, good. <laughs> you probably, you were the one that did it. Broke it. Alright, without much further ado, this one's called Smoke and Mirrors. Two, three, four. <laughs>
Increases your confidence, increases, and then all of a sudden you're an asshole. <laughs> I mean, I'm not talking about you, right now. Confidence is gone. Now it's gone. So listen up, assholes. We're gonna sing this one together. This one's called Swing Low. Swing Low. Yes, we do. And repeat after me. Swing low. Sherry, I'm 
We worked it out, no. right? Yeah, worked yeah. it out. Yeah. 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 Everything be great. All right. Well, it was a man's door. Then. 